Hi, this is Adri from the Virtual Library, and this tutorial is going to show you one of the personalized features of the public catalog, the My Profile feature. My Profile allows you to turn on your My Favorites. My Favorites tracks your checkouts and holds and builds a list of authors and subjects that you check out most often. You will receive emails no more than once a week whenever new library materials from your favorite authors or subjects are added to the library collection. You just need to make sure you have an active email address on file with us. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the library catalog. And next we're going to log in with our 14 digit library card number and four digit PIN. Once logged in, we're going to make sure we have an email address on file. So go to My Account and then Change My Address. In the first box, labeled Email, type in the email address at which you want to receive email. Then click Send. You're taken to the confirmation page where you can click OK. Now we need to turn on the My Favorites feature. On either of the two purple navigation bars, click My Profile. Be sure to read the text here, and if you agree to have items that you check out automatically added as favorites, click the box, and then click OK. And that's how you turn on the My Favorites feature. Now I'm going to log out and log back in with a library card which has had this feature turned on for a while. As you can see, we're back on the search page and at the bottom there's a difference now. My Favorite Authors and My Favorite Subjects are appearing at the bottom. To see additional My Favorites, click on More Favorites. And here on the left, I see a list of My Favorite Authors, and on the right, I see My Favorite Subjects. Now let's say I want to remove someone from this list, or a subject from this list. What I do is I go to either of the purple navigation bars, and I click on Modify. I now have check boxes to the left of the words in each box. Let's say I don't want to receive any more notifications about new materials with Rupert Grint in it. So I check the box and do Remove Selected Authors. Please note that this will include authors as well as any actors who appear in any DVDs that you check out from the library. If I want to remove any subjects, I would click over here and then click Remove Se Selected Subjects. These must be removed separately they cannot be removed at the same time, the authors and subjects. Once I'm done, I can go back to Catalog Search and see that the change has been made. Now I can click on any of these topics and see a list of new items from the, from the library on that subject. I can then place holds, add it to a list, I can go back and do a catalog search and find new materials from authors or actors and place holds or add them to my list. I can go back and do a catalog search. At any point in time, if you need assistance, please do not hesitate to email virtuallibrary at pls.lib.ok.us.